Hi guys, thanks for joining us for today's tutorial on turning paradiddles into grooves. This is our first lesson in the Creative Paradiddles tutorial series. Today's groove is made up of paradiddles and is pretty simple. That's what makes it so great. I played this groove on one of my previous videos and I received a request to break it down. So here it is. If you wish to listen to this groove in context with music, please click on the link above. For those who don't already know, this is a basic single paradiddle pattern. Starting off with the right hand, right, left, right, right, followed by the left hand. Left, right, left, left, and then repeat. But before we transform this paradiddle into a groove, I'd like to first invite you to subscribe to our channel for more lesson videos like this. Just hit the subscribe button below. The transformation will happen in three steps. Movement, substitution, and dynamics. The first step, movement. I will move my right hand from the snare drum over to the hi-hat. As you can see, most of my right hand notes are on the hi-hat except for the accented note on beat 3. The accented note actually creates a half-time groove. The second step, substitution, refers to changing up the sticking pattern. Substituting one hand for the other hand, or even with the kick drum. This may significantly change how the pattern sounds. In the context of this groove, the paradiddle sticking remains the same for beat 1, 2, and 3. But remember to add a kick drum at the start of beat 1. For beat 4, instead of playing left, right, left, left, we have changed the sticking pattern to left, right, right, left, substituting the left hand with the right hand on the end of beat 4. This allows us to get two hi-hats in on the last beat instead of just one. Moving on to the third and final step, arguably the most important step. This step puts the groove in groove. In this paradiddle groove, the left hand remains on the snare drum playing ghost notes. This creates contrast with the hi-hat notes being played by the right hand. But what really gives this paradiddle groove its flavour is the hi-hat accent on the end of beat 1 and the first note of beat 3. Now, I'll demonstrate this paradiddle groove at 60 BPM and at 80 BPM. Accents are a vital part to every drummer's vocabulary. For example, just adding one additional accent to the last hi-hat note of beat 3 can significantly change the entire feel of the original groove. Now let me demonstrate this at 80 BPM. So play around with the accents, add them and displace them. And just to be clear, displacing an accented note just means moving the note from one point to another. For more on accents, check out the lessons in our Accents and Ghost Notes series. Now, I'll play the original paradiddle groove at 120 BPM. In previous videos, I've always suggested changing up the drum voicings from the snare to the hi-hat or to the toms. I'll provide an example now by moving all snare drum notes over to the hi-hat, all except the accented snare note on beat 3. Now, I'll move some of the hi-hat voicings over to the snare drum. The ability to move around with any pattern allows you to freely express yourself on the drums and is particularly important when you want to start coming up with grooves and fills. I'll now demonstrate the same groove again, but this time throwing everything into the mix. I'll move my drum voicings around to the hi-hat, snare and toms while adding and displacing accents.
If you have stuck with me till now, I hope that you have learned more than one periodical groove. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave it in the comments section below. So start turning your simple periodicals into awesome grooves and stay tuned for the next lesson.